Good morning. Just bedding some cattle. Not exactly got the normal boots on this morning. Left my boots at the wrong yard. There you go, beasts. I'll tell you what, they're happy to get grub. I've not got it yet, but. I am just trying to work out all the numbers for boxes that I have to post of Bandit Beer. Just working out all the numbers, nice and technical here, right in the back of my hand. 174 singles, 78 orders of doubles, some threes and one five, and then there's a collection orders on top of that. I've not really filmed much today, there's been a few time lapses, but I've just been packaging up more beer. Bandit beer. There's 160 case there ready for delivery. We've just tippled over the 400 case mark. So there's only 140 something odd left. Link is down below if you fancy getting yourself a case of Bandit beer. Beauty. And when it does arrive with you, enjoy. Some of those boxes have a wee message written inside them. So have a look for a message. Anyway, I'm going home for a beer. Cheers to that. Good job. You beauty. Okay, ladies, first sip of um, beer. Cheers. Have some. I'll probably get cancelled for that. Abuse. Animal abuse. She loved it though, oh, didn't look, you? Look at her lips. Guess what? Good morning, a wee dustin of snow. Lovely day to start putting a handling system in, which later on, a few guys are arriving to do that. They're English though, so it might be a bit cold for them. I've just insulted probably 50% of my audience. I could really do with the Defender working when the weather's like this. Just restocking Dad's fridge, we'll get rid of this nonsense. That's more like it. Lime spreader's out spreading lime at the moment. We've still got another few loads to come, but it's getting on fine there. We weren't sure where we we're gonna do any today because the stuff that's come in has big frosted chunks in it. But we've got a fresh load this morning. It's not frosty at all. So we're spreading that and it's quite quite mild today, so hopefully it'll thaw out the rest of it by the time he gets to it. It fair kicks on that yoke. Also, there's another lorry just coming up the road right now. Perfect timing. There it goes. That's got another load of lime in it. That's ideal, because that won't be frozen. The last of the Christmas beef is going away. We'll get it loaded up, and Dad's gonna fire down to the abattoir. Hard the way you are, other way. Yeah, keep coming at that. Keep going, keep going, keep going. All right, hold on. Keep going. Whoa, I'll do it. That we want. Do you want to put them both back and get another? Right? Yeah. Let that one back anyway. Yeah, I'll stay here, you go and have a look. We've got three. We might swap out one, which is a smaller one on the far left, for a bigger one. I'm just stopping. I'm going down here right now. These ones I bought, I don't know, two, three months ago. I think averaged about five, 40 kilos. We're just going for that. Yeah. Right, they're good to go, these three. Good. Good. Ho, 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 ho. That's the tag number, so we'll just look at the passports. Just check them. 1894-1872-0166. Yeah. Yeah. There we are. There you go, 10 of them. I bought them on the 20th of September 23 at 500 and 
30, 40 kilo average, I think. They are off. That's the last load for Christmas time for all the orders. And if you've not already, you can get your orders in at the farm shop. Beef, turkey, veg, trimmings, chipolatas, bacon, Christmas pudding, bandit beer, the lot. There's a van being left here, so I'll just grab that to get home. If it'll start. Hey! You're on the GoPro right now because my phone, Carol, who works in the office, is currently on hold on my phone to the Royal Mail. They're refusing to take payments, or they're taking payments but not giving us the labels to post out Bandit Beer. We've got 50 through the system and now they've stopped taking payments, but they're taking the payments because it's coming out of the bank. So hopefully, by the time I get back, that issue is resolved. Lime boy's cleared the pile, he's just out in the field, so he needs a lift home. So I'll just give him a phone and see how far away he is, but he'll not be far. I doubt he'll be doing any more loads tonight. He needs to shift along the road to yard four tomorrow. If he's spreading tomorrow, should be, the weather's not too bad. I'll just watch where I walk in here, but gate guys have been in marking up. With studs and string lines just to get our lines and mark everything right. That must be the center point for the main pivot on the U-shaped ratchet door. That'll be the main upright on that. I'll not bother going too much further. I'll end up whacking down some string lines and making more jobs for them. That's a big bruiser of a machine that. It's a belter. That's him finished up for the day. I'll just give him a lift back to Kinross. And it's going to work in fine because I've got two local deliveries of Bandit Beer at uh, Bridge of Earn, which is on the way to Kinross. I'll do it on the way back and I've also got potatoes to pick up from Glen Farg. So I'll get everything done in one trip. I've arrived for spuds, but there's no doors open, no lights on. Had a rake about, couldn't see anything obvious to get loaded myself. Because I'm Bandit Beer to go and deliver on the way back home. There's two deliveries. Stop number one for beer. Or number two, actually. Nice guy, Jordan. Ordered two cases. He's got a pile of stock in those sheds. I was admiring them. Anyway, home we go. I managed to go back for the spuds. Tea's collected, pizza, it's half of seven and Kate Lady's busy. See you tomorrow, bye. Good morning, it's the next morning. Old lime delivered about half an hour ago. I've just finished feeding the cattle here at yard two. Guess what I'm now sitting waiting on? Royal Mail, trying to get hold of them on the phone so we can post more of these parcels. Yesterday afternoon we tried them on hold for 30 minutes, then we got through, put us to another number that said we're going to be on hold for an hour and a half. So they open it bang on 8 o'clock, it's 7.59, I'm getting in that queue. As soon as that turns 8, bang, come on. Thank you for calling the Royal Mail Click and Drop Helpline. Oh, thank you. By the way, we'll record this call for quality and training. Nah, I'm oh, recording you for quality and training. After you fin Hi there, hi. We've had... Bow me two seconds. Apparently it was a whole system issue. <laughs> Bullshit. Anyway, we're back up and running this morning. Spuds. Finally time to go and pick up these damn logs, which I've been meaning to do for about the last week. I think I'm going to get away today. They're also now not in box, they're in boxes, so the flatbed's going on again. I think Graham, whose logs they are, just fancies a wee look at the flatbed. Good to go. Just need to grab some straps and a number plate. There's either one in Dad's Discovery, which is currently, I can see his Discovery right there, dropping off the local newspapers, or I'm gonna steal one off the flatbed there. Now, 
here's a question. So obviously trailers, farm trailers and farm implements that need a number plate, we don't have to have a number plate specific to the vehicle that is towing it. It just has to be a vehicle that is registered to the farm because farmers are lugging off trailers off and on all day. So does that mean I can just put a number plate from Dad's Discovery on this flatbed? Dad's Discovery is never going to be towing it, but it's registered to this farm. I think that's fine. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Because I've still not got around to picking up the number plate. I've ordered one and it's coming, but the machine's missing a part or something so they can't print it or they can't do whatever they need to do to it. I've nabbed my Defender number plate off the flatbed. Common sense says that should be fine because they're all registered to the same farm. So if there's an incident or they need to track me for speeding, it's all going to register to the same number plates as the tractor number plates. Definitely two ratchets. Nice and legal now. Round, round, get around, I get around, yeah, get around, round, round, I get around, I get around. Fuck that search, let me call, I'm giving you my blood alcohol. Oh, so much whiskey in his coat. He's got a new and I've run the lid, he's worn out, something's been pissed, he's casual, see, I am dead. Until she gets you on your own. I did say 11 o'clock and it's 5 to 10. That's my fault. A couple of pallets of kindlers and then it's logs to go on, so I'll just get them loaded myself. One escapee log. First proper outing for this trailer. It's only had bales on it so far. Right, that's six spud boxes, two pallets of kindling, and I'm just waiting on Graham getting back because he's got some softwood to go on top. These are all hardwood and there's some softwood as well. There's a few more boxes then, but he needs to fish them out from somewhere. So he's not far away. Give us a smile. Yeah. Mind the pain. <laughs> right, job done. Loaded up. First big load on the trailer. Right, home we go. Loaded up. Got cold toes now. Standing chatting for half an hour. Chatting all things cattle. Graham's been in the cattle game for a fair while, so I was prizing as much information from him as I could. Very helpful, very knowledgeable as well. And we're back, about five days later than I first planned. Voila, we made it, a lovely hurl. We'll get that unstrapped and loaded. I'm needing a cup of tea and a bit of toast, I'm getting hungry and I don't operate very well when I'm hungry. Bit of fuel, I'm back to normal. I got my toast and I'm back to doing this. I'll unload the trailer later, but there's packaging arrived, that pallet full of packaging, so I need to get on with stenciling these boxes with paint that dries properly and not a stock marker, which likes to not dry. That's another 55, maybe 145 left on that pallet. Still need to unload that, but can get to that this evening. If I get ahead with the boxes, Sean can get processing them. He's not going to be here in the evenings, obviously, so... Let's attack pallet number three! So, the process is... Grab a case. Open it, I need to go and get a knife, but we'll use this big knife for now. Open. There can be some labels kind of hanging off a bit. This box is pretty good. So just check the odd label. That one's good. A couple of dividers. 
which are not actually made for these boxes, they're made for bigger boxes, but we've done it a different way. They go in there. One, two, and three. Stops the sugar lint. Bang, 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 bang. Take that up, then that box goes into the boxes I've sprayed. And then they are ready for getting a label like this. So that pallet has been wrapped, it's ready to go. Load number one, she's off. Enjoy everyone. I told him to be as careful as he can. Time to go and feed some cows now. Don't worry, cows, I've not forgotten about you. That's a big old core. 